Hang on, folks. One second. I'm just fixing up my uh, thing here. So, welcome to Everyday KT number 68. Uh, yeah, 68. So, we've been doing this a lot. Uh, yes, I have a stain right here. The Chinese food monster got to me earlier. Uh, word to the wise. When you're going to order Chinese food, make sure you don't order the entree before you order the special. You know, if you want an, an F... Don't order a 15 by accident. You'll completely screw up your whole day. So tonight, uh, we're going to talk about how you can be live. Oh, one second. Yeah, she can have some. So, anyway, daughter needs some medicine. Um, how do you get on Facebook Live to do the exact same thing I'm doing right now? Now... If you haven't figured out how to do this yet, I'm going to show you because I have this cool tablet thing and I can try to break the internet by showing you Facebook on Facebook while I'm trying to teach you Facebook using Facebook. Uh, that's a lot of Facebook, so we're going to give it a shot. So the first thing you do is you get the cojones and you say, you know what, I'm going to get on live. And if you wear a kilt, those you've already got, male or female, doesn't matter what, what you've got going on, you're ready to go live. So what you do is you find your page. Boom. This. Most of you know this page. This is the, oh, really weird mirror effect. This is my KT the Kilt Man page. So what you do, if you want to go live, simple. See right here? There's that little button that says post. If I can get the glare not to work on that. Hit post. Boom. And then it's going to come up with a huge page asking all kinds of good things. It's like, what's on your mind? That's what it says right there. Down at the bottom, though, this is what it shows you. First thing right here says, you want to upload a picture? Go live, check in, or feeling your activity. And if you just want to do a regular check-in, <coughs> you just go up here and you type. Blah, 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 blah. Type, yay, fun shenanigans. But you go here, you hit go live. And ooh, all kinds of things. Now, as you can see, currently it's live. Um, the cool thing is at the top here, it has a button so you can switch it. So I can be looking at you, looking at me, looking at you, while you're looking at me. See that? See how crazy that is? Right there. Boom. I've got two of me at the same video at the same time. That's just nuts. So the trouble is, or, so right, I'm, I'm sorry, not trouble. So right now, this thing, as you can see, let's see if I can get this aimed right. Oh, no. Let's see if I can get this aimed right. Boom, there's me talking to me about me with all kinds of glare. Hey, Ray. So, going live at the same time with two different machines might break something. So I'm not going to mess it up. I might try it later. But as you can see, I, it's like a video pass-through of me, with me. This is uh, all kinds of craziness with the videos here. It's kind of interesting. But the cool thing right now is it, you're not live. Right here at the bottom, see that right there? That little magic blue button says go live. That is the point of no return. You push that button and it starts broadcasting live. I haven't pushed the button yet, so that's why all this cool stuff is, is working. It's kind of, kind of freaky though because it's like, hey, let's look at, you know, in, inside of not really inside of KT's uh, chest and whatnot, but you know what? Yeah, that is kind of weird. Put that just like that, and it's two of me talking to you at the same time. So you can have a lot of fun with this, especially if you have multiple devices, because I can look at this, or ooh, ooh, let's do this. I can go like this. Let's see, is that was that working? Yeah. So I can go like this, and you can see me, and you can see that I'm recording myself, but I'm not actually looking at the camera that I'm recording on. So. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with this thing, but you got to be careful because you never know what 
is going to happen. See, like that right there? I'm going to have to look and see what that looks like because I think it looked pretty cool, but I don't know. We're going to find out once the video is over. So, when you do your go live, you know, make sure you don't push the go live. Before that, you type in here, right there, and it says, describe your video. All of those things, um, when you look at the videos, what it tells you to do. Oh, let's do this. Yeah, you see? When you look at the videos, I wonder, can I do this? Have some silly fun here. Oh, look, yeah, no. I, anyway, this is where you type in the titles. The Everyday KT number 5, number 6, 12, whatever it is, that is what you do. You type that in there, right here, where it says describe your video, and you hit OK, and then you hit the go live. So, after you've hit the go live, you're going to be live, just like this, and it has a button at the bottom of the screen, right down, well, let's see, right down there, bottom of my screen, that says finish. And once, you've, once you're done, it'll say, are you done? Yes. Do you want to delete the video, meaning it's a one-shot live video, it's like going to a concert. You see it, it's up there, you're done. Or you can post it, which is what I do every time, so people can see it, and they can see... Uh, you know, people can catch up and see what they've missed. Once you've done that, though, it also allows you to download to YouTube. So, here we're back on my page. And if I click on videos, go to, you can make playlists like I have. We go on all videos, and you can see every single one of the videos that I've done. And the really cool thing is that you can go in and edit it. Yeah, see, I'd be watching myself. Oh, this would be bad. Is this still live? Is this is this going to work? Yeah, see, it's going to try to play my video while I'm live. I don't want to break it. So, anyway, you can go in and edit these, and you can add criteria for search, which means if someone's on go on uh, Facebook, they can look at, this vid at, at your video and say they're searching for scotch and beer like my video a couple of days ago for whiskey and beer it'll pop up on their Facebook feed and you can add a bunch of different search criteria you can also download it so you can put it on YouTube or put it wherever you want no I'm not gonna push the button see I didn't push the button um, but the other really cool thing about the videos is if you're trying to run a business or you have a business page set up uh, or a page in general there's this really cool thing on here that you can do um, that's called Insights. For those of you who don't know Facebook, it's called Insights. Boom! It tells you all kinds of cool information about your site. How many people have visited, how many people looked at your page today, how many people engaged in your page past week, uh, how many messages you've got, how fast you reply to your messages, all that other kind of stuff. What that does is if you have running a business or trying to promote something, you can actually utilize that for any paid Facebook ads and the only reason I know about this is this is what I do for a job professionally so I'm in this thing all day every day trying to help my clients get seen on Facebook which is where everybody is because as you can see you're all here so that's what that's about um, if you guys really want I can get into the nuts and bolts of how to use this stuff um, use Facebook and whatnot to do PR especially if you have a company doesn't matter what it is. Kilt companies or Celtic companies would be are great, but doesn't matter. If you want, I can do a video or a series of videos on how to use Facebook to get your your kilt stuff PR'd and out there for cheap, 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 cheap. Nathan, shut it on the 76 degrees today. I don't want to hear it. It's raining. It's been snowing for five days. It's going to start snowing again in a couple of hours. And we're going to wake up in the morning and it's going to make Hoth look like hell. I don't want to hear that crap. So, that is how you get on Facebook Live. Where is the button for stats? Here, let me show you real quick. Now, this is not on your personal page, Dave. This is on a business page. So, if you have a personal page, you go in there and you push the button. You push uh, your pages and you can create them. Um, and you can use them for organizations, for clubs, for whatever. 
So what you do is you go in there and so this is your page, your Facebook page for Dave's Awesome Whatevers. Uh, you'll have the page, you'll have any activity on the page, who's liked things, what they've liked. Over here, you'll see Insights. Insights is the one you want. So that's that's kind of what you're going to look for. And, um, like I said, if enough of you want me to do a little speech about this um, or a presentation about how to use Facebook, I definitely will. Um, and yes, I have not figured out what it is. Some days my accent is thick as hell some days it's not I don't know I don't know why today when I was outside um, this afternoon talking to the about the snow it, I you'd swear I was from Dorchester I don't know it just it, it happens I don't know what it is uh, somebody up there earlier threw Kiltology volume 2 out yes Mike I know and your dad was a snow plow we all know that joke yeehaw but at least we got some good representation from Tulsa out there. So the Midwest has some some definitely good uh, good representation. I hope you guys avoid the uh, snowmageddon like we did way back when when uh, I was towing ambulances. So let's see, Kiltology Volume Two. Yeah, I know Ray. My uh, my accent it's it gets kind of crazy sometimes. Boom. Let's see what this says. Oh well, we'll go with this one. Let's see, uh, Kiltology number 410, Boots. It is utterly amazing the effect the proper pair of boots can have when complementing a kilt. It not only adds additional height to the kilty, but an added measure of bad badassness as well. I'm going to pronounce that word right one of these days. Make sure when you make your kilt boot purchase that they not only fit your feet, but your entire personality. That way, they are the truest of complimentary accessories to the confident, kilted man. Of course, they also make a great answer to the question. We all know what question that is. So yes, if you're going to buy boots, go out there when you, when you go buy your boots and make sure that they fit the kind of person you are. If you like really tall boots, then get big, huge, clunky, tall boots. If you re if you like just plain, straight, normal boots, get a pair of, of, of Doc Martin style. If you don't like boots at all, put something else on your feet. If anything, you don't like boots at all, fine. Go barefoot. Just be careful because um, briars suck. And all of those little pricker bushes and whatever other nasty little pointy thingies out in nature, all bad. And they suck on your feet, especially when you're walking and you don't have anything else. So have a little bit of caution with that one. And also remember, be careful of Chinese food because when it doesn't like you, it doesn't like you. Um, yeah, 20-eyed boots. I've seen, I've seen the craziest boots I've ever seen were a pair at the Tulsa Scottish Festival, they went up to the guy's knees, they were, he was about my height, and it had layered, sculpted and painted, or sculpted and dyed leather, so that the entire front of the boot was flames, just like the old school muscle cars. It's awesome. Awesome boots. But, he said they cost him a pretty penny, which probably means, in boot speak, many hundreds of dollars. Not going to happen. So, um, if you do want me to talk about Facebook some more, uh, please chuck it down in the, com in the comments. Let me know. Um, watch out for prickly stuff on the ground when you're walking around barefoot. And again, snow up the kilt is bad, 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 bad. I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe, stay warm, and as always, be strong. Put a kilt on.